Hey, Sean here with my boy Tony um, for the Rusty Shovel Landscape Shop and we just got in a new line of tools, uh, Corona tools. Tony was uh, under the understanding that we were getting into uh, Corona beers, so he asked where the heck are the limes, but no, Corona tools, stay focused. <laughs> Maybe you have a problem that we need to uh, work through here, Tony. We can get you some help. But uh, just a few little, little cool little tweaks, the things that attracted us to the Corona line. Um, they take a regular tool and they just kind of turn it on its head a little bit. Um, so um, where I want to start is with this, uh, with this broom. So um, really cool uh, portion, just, you know, how can we improve a broom? Well, it's got two types of bristles on it. So get back in the shot. Um, we've got hard bristles and then a little bit softer bristle um, uh, underneath. Uh, we've got the red and the blue, so good Habs colors for Tony. Terrible colors. It's perfect. Um, and then the other add-on here, if I can show it properly, is this scraper. So this sucker, you can turn it around, scrape off anything that's uh, uh, that's caked onto the concrete or or to the uh, to the pavement, and then flip it back around and, and sweep it out of the way. So um, got got some nice reinforcements there as well. Um, so that's that's uh, uh, one of our just unboxing this today. Uh, one of the cool things that we that we thought from uh, um, from Corona, um, Tony. That's great for cleaning up the mess. I think for making the mess, this is probably the coolest thing we uh, we discovered. Uh, new lineup of wheel barrels. Um, super super durable, just from the from the outset by the looks of it. Uh, it's got a flat free tire, so you're never gonna have to run into issues where you can't use a wheelbarrow all of a sudden because the tire is flat or you just can't get through the mud or whatever. It's uh, it's a flat free solid rubber tire. Uh, the other neat thing that this wheelbarrow has is basically a roll bar on the front. So it's a little bit, it just provides a little bit more, very good vent away. <laughs> provides a little bit more stability when you're dumping uh, topsoil or rock or whatever it is into uh, into whatever destination that's going. It just means the wheelbarrow is not going to fall over as uh, as easily. It just makes it a little bit easier for the operator to use. Yeah, it's just a quick tip up onto this. Now you're on the roll bar, so then you can you can more easily and accurately um, just give that a good. Uh, good push so Absolutely. I think that makes for a quicker easier job less strain on the back trying to make that balance so certainly um, yeah um, the other thing is the handles I guess yeah certainly for uh, easier storage the handles on this let me just flip this around the handles of this are just on some cotter pins so you can take these pins off and the handles come right off just to make it easier to store if you're uh, putting it into a trailer or if uh, a homeowner sticking it into a shed in the backyard or a garage or something like that just uh, takes up a little bit less room, makes it a little bit easier. So the one thing that we did notice though is you when you have the when you use the cotter pins, it, it, it is a little bit loose when you're going in there. We're thinking that that's going to normalize a little bit with uh, with a load in there, um, but um, it does does also come with bolts. It um, does come with bolts, so you can make that a solid uh, a solid bar, right? Basically a solid application. Yeah. So um, so whether if you need the space, great leave them with the cotter pins. Um, if you don't need the space, then just bolt it down and you've got a more permanent uh, permanent thing. So uh, six cubic foot um, six. steel. Um, rock won't beat this up. No, it's got a reinforcing plate quality. on the bottom of it as well. So it's, uh, it's a solid unit. It's not going anywhere. Good call. Okay, so there's that. And then uh, finally, just uh, something else that stood out was this gigantic leaf rake. It's the biggest leaf rake that I've ever seen. Um, pretty sturdy. The uh, the handle you can see goes all the way through to here. Um, so you're going to have less, fewer stress points um, on that on that rake. And it's just going to. I mean, it's called the big load. Totally. <laughs> It's it gonna would take a remove <laughs> a lot of leaves. Yeah, so uh, if you're cleaning up your yard this uh, this spring or, or into the fall, um, that sucker is gonna, uh, gonna do a pretty good pretty good <laughs> job for you. So um, I definitely uh, I definitely like that. Like I could I could maybe like you might even be able to clean up your yard with that. Yeah, three acres it'll it'll, it'll handle that. I think perfect. So um, so yeah, that's uh, and and they do also have you know some really cool rake products as well. Um, some solid. Um, uh, solid handle stuff, um, really well put together. It was pretty, very, very that's, solid. That's kind of what uh, what what made me uh, make the switch. So um, you know you've got uh, you got a bunch of different options there. So um, again, new tool options from uh, from us here at uh, the Rusty Shovel. So if you're stocking your sheds, um, stock it with some Corona. <laughs>